Derek, how do you how did you come through practice today? How did you feel? I felt great. Uh, felt um, confident enough to be able to you know strap it up and go today. Um, and so uh, the real test is you know seeing how I would feel afterwards and feel I feel good. And so uh, now let's stack some days together and you know to be able to you know, hopefully play you know this week. So uh, but felt it felt really good you know to be back out there with my teammates because watching watching you know. Especially when it's tough, it, it sucks. You know, uh, you want to be out there with your guys. So uh, it felt really nice to be back out there playing football again. What was your functionality? Did you feel it in the torque or? No, no, I feel great now. Yeah, uh, you know, we got to a point, real, uh, I say real late, real late last week, where I felt confident um, in what we were doing. Felt we did some things on Monday. Felt real confident Tuesday. Felt confident. And then today, I was like, all right, well, we should be good, and I, I felt good and. It was really that first ball, you know, you throw in team that is a real rep. You know, you move, you, you step this way, throw it that way. And, uh, you know, that, that, that was the test and it felt great. You know, what was this process? How long did it take for you to be able to get to the point where you felt comfortable? <sighs> a good two and a half weeks, um, three weeks maybe, um, to where I could actually begin to try and do the stuff I have to do. Um, you know, it was you know, a, slow, a slow process, uh, but our trainers did a fantastic job. They really did. You know, they they, they mapped it out for me. Uh, said it'll be between this and this, and we got back more on the earlier side of it. But they did a great job with the plan and trusting you know what I was saying and how I felt and being able to progress that plan. And uh, and then God did what God did. You know, you know it just he he always takes care of me. It sucks having to sit there and watch when it wasn't the most painful thing I've ever dealt with. It, it really wasn't. It wasn't really painful. It was just a lack of being able to do my job. And so that was the most frustrating part because I couldn't just play through it. You know, I, I just literally couldn't do it. And so that this was it's been the most frustrating injury I've ever had besides breaking my ankle and not being able to play in the playoffs, you know, that year. Uh, but this is the most frustrating because there's literally nothing that I could do but wait and just let it heal. What could you not do? Throw, <laughs> uh, sneeze, cough, hold my kids. Um, it was there was a lot of things that, you know, my daughter ran up to me like, you know, we get home, she sees me the next morning, and she comes running up, and I went to grab her, and I was like, nope. <laughs> so it was, it was tough. Uh, you know, I think not being able to hold hold my kids was probably the hardest part. Derek, I imagine. Sorry, you. But I imagine with an injury like this, there's a, a stage. I don't know if it's a day or a week where. Could probably throw 10 yard passes and not yeah. throw 40 yard like when when was that stage and, and yeah. how hard was it to resist maybe i could go out there only to, like it, it was uh <laughs> it was a lot of people taking care of me from me you know because they learned last year that especially with the injuries and things that i had that i would play through anything and uh and they learned that you know yeah you may be able to do this but you gotta be able to do what you gotta do you know and so um, our trainers, our coaching staff, Mickey, I thought they they did a great job of making sure that I could get back and be ready um, and not have a setback. Now, now, it's life. Anything can happen. But we, we believe we're in a place where there won't be a setback, you know, because uh, I, feel, I feel good, feel confident. But there was stages. Some of the stages took longer than others. Um, but now that we're here, it feels like it flew by, you know, but every day was felt like it was you know three days you know I, I remember looking at the sheet and it was like day 14 of the injury I was like gosh you know it felt like 30 and so um, you know especially when the team is you know you know not winning and things like that it was even harder because you just want to even even in those moments when it's the hardest you know when it when it's not going your way that's when it hurts you the most because you want to be out there with your guys you know in those moments you know trying to rally them and you know, encourage them and things like that. And there's only so much you can do when you're not playing, you know. And so you're not in the huddle, you're not on the field, you know, every day. So, uh, but yeah, the, there was definitely stages Ben and then would know the stages better than right. I would, but yeah. But not to put words in your mouth, so I'll, like that means you're not coming back at 80%, you're coming back a lot closer to 100 or? Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Cause this, is, this was something like, you know, if I go to rip a ball, you know, 60 yards and, you know, and it, Pulls like what's the point? You know, like if you if you do that, now again it's football and any I don't ever want to just put yeah. that, you know put that stuff out there, but you know anything can happen. But we feel confident. I feel confident. We I've shown it. You know that I can do those things, and uh, you know now it's about just how I how I stack days and how it feels after that.
when Breeze had like, a similar injury like 10 years ago, um, yep. I think he came back around the same time frame. That was preseason, though. But he said later on that he felt like his mechanics suffered yep. after he come, came back in that time frame. Is there any concern about that? And like, how do you alleviate maybe that happening? Yeah, so this is that's part of the reason like this was the toughest injury for me. So, you know, I wanted to make sure that I came back and I was just me. I'm not overcompensating like last year with my shoulder or that, you know, just different things. And uh, the day I found out what it was and we found out the time frame and, you know, what I had, I'll say what I had done, uh, I called, you know, I think I texted Drew and uh, and asked him, you know, I said, hey, I know you had this back in this, you know, year, you know, was and things like just make sure your mechanics, you know, he gave me other advice, but he's like, just don't, don't, don't let your mechanics suffer to just try and get back on the field because then, it, you know, you won't feel the same. And so, uh, you know, for me, it was about every part of the stages, every part of the process was making sure that I kept all of that right, whether it was at five yards, 10 yards, or, you know, 50 yards. You know, I just made sure, you know, that, you know, I have to be able to do it the right way uh, to make sure that I don't have, uh, to do my best to make sure there's no setback. Is there a added pressure knowing that the offense has really struggled without you, or how do you not put added pressure on yourself to kind of, want to be the savior of what has not oh. worked since you've been gone. I am no savior. There's only been one of those. And, uh, <laughs> and you know, th that is not me. Um, you know, I am here to be a great leader and to be a great teammate and to do my job to the best of my ability. And do I feel confident what I can do? Absolutely. You know, I feel confident what I can do. I feel confident in what I can bring to our team. Um, and, and that's exciting, right? Uh, but you know, to, to save us or anything like that, that's that's not me, you know. Um, I'm going to come in and do what, what what my guys expect me to do, you know, bring bring energy, bring effort, you know, like I said, be a great teammate, uh, encourage our guys, get everybody on the same page, lock in the details, hold each other accountable. Like, I, you know, I, we got nine weeks that are promised to us, right? And, you know, or 10 weeks, whatever week this is, right? And I just, there's just a full commitment just from myself to our guys, you know, when I get back, I'm going to be a, a psychopath. I'm going to be crazy about the details and everything because we only get one shot at this, you know. Uh, and so, you know, I don't have any promises. I don't have anything except I, I'll promise great effort. I'll promise, you know, long nights and early mornings, you know, to make sure that we're at our best. And so, you know, I'm looking forward to getting back and excited to finally, you know, be back on the practice field. Derek, right. I asked oh. Dennis Allen this as well. You don't have to name specific seasons, but I assume in over 10 years of playing, I mean, have you been part of teams that, that did let a losing streak kind of get the locker room defeated or, or oh, lose yeah. buy-in and lose that? How, how do you, what makes you confident this is not that? Um, it's the people that we have in the locker room because I have absolutely seen it and I have absolutely seen, you know, people in the locker room. You only need three or four guys that'll listen to them, you know, uh, bad apples. You only need three or four to listen to them that start bringing other, everybody else with them. And so um, the people that we have in this locker room, you know, the energy that we felt at practice, the unity, we keep talking about, me and DeMario keep talking about the unity on this team. And it, it really is a beautiful thing. And, you know, our, our record, you know, it, you know, where we're at, it sucks. It's a sucky feeling. It really does because, you know, we didn't think it was going to be this. We didn't know all the stuff we'd have to go through and all that. But at the end of the day, none of it matters. Like this is what we have, what are we going to do about it? And our team has just hunkered down, backs against the wall, and you either give up or you fight. And and I, I really believe our team's going to fight. I really I really believe that just from what I felt at practice today. Um, what I felt in our meeting room, the attention to detail, the guys are asking questions, the, like the the give up factor, that, that just isn't, it's not in the locker room. And I think where you put your finger on that is like, who are you bringing in your locker room? And I really feel like we have great leaders. I really feel like we have great people, great men. And, and our coaching staffs are on the same page. Usually, usually when you see that stuff start happening, it starts there. You know, and you see, uh, you feel the tension with this and this and this. Just being honest with you, I've seen it more times than I'd like to admit. And then it, it trickles down because what's that position hearing in their room when the door's closed? What are they hearing? You know, and it's there's none of that. Everyone's on the same page. Everyone, you see them communicating. I, that's stuff I watch for. You know, uh, just been doing it a while, and our guys are doing that. So we're doing all the right things. We're trying our best. Now, does that promise us? Great results? No, we got to we got to put the work in and go do it on Sundays. But it does give us a better chance than doing it the other way.
Derek, you were talking about all that with the, you know, how the unity and, and staying encouraged. Is it good to have something tangible like, hey, like, I know we've had a battle through all these injuries. You're coming back. A lot of the offensive pieces are back here for, you know, another week. Is that, is that I guess, encouraging for the team to see that? Yeah, I think so. Uh, just from what other guys are saying, I think, I think it's encouraging. Uh, and, you know, I thought, you know, throughout the injuries, throughout throughout all the injuries, we had a lot of young guys get a lot of great experience. And I thought our two young quarterbacks, for it being their first action against some of those defenses, did a great job. And I'm so proud of them and the work that they put in. That, that was a that's a tough situation, even for a veteran to play with all those injuries and you know still move, try and move the ball and score points. That that is I've been there and it is it's hard because then you got to stand up here and answer the questions and you can't say certain things because they're you know just think, the facts are the facts. You know it's just hard and. You know, you, you put all the pressure on yourself because you still feel like when the ball's in your hand, like, no, we can still win. You know, that's how competitive we are. But I was so proud of the way that they played and, and, and the experience that they got, you know, um, all of our young guys that had to step up and play. So, you know, I think that I think going through it, you know, you look at the record and it sucks, but I think we're a stronger team for it. You know, I think we're a closer team. We got more experience now with our with our team than we did before all the injuries. And so, you know me, I'm always going to be positive about it. But now. Now we got to win, you know, that period, point blank. We just need to start winning and hopefully get on the right track this week. You are talking about saviors earlier, and I know you just alluded to Spencer. Um, yep. A lot of people, I think, maybe unfairly placed a lot of expectations on him when he came in. I mean, yep. did you deal with him as far as encouragement? How did you feel oh, yeah. like he played yep. in that three-game three, three game stint? He played great for a rookie. You know, he did. He did a lot of great things. He's gonna. You know, there's so much that. It's so unfair sometimes the pressure we put on rookie quarterbacks, and I'm talking about across the league. You know, it, quarterbacks need time. You know, not everybody's in the same situation as some of these other guys. You know, some of these other guys walk into situations, um, and what they're asked to do. Yes, they may have success, but what they're asked to do. You know, it, it's it's a good thing they got a good team around them. You know, and so uh, you know sometimes guys get a lot of unfair circumstances and again no one cares you know but it's just facts and so I thought he played great uh, you know for a young guy you know does he have a lot of things to learn absolutely you know we, we knew that you know as soon as they said he was gonna start you know we, we knew you know Billy knew that there was things that he just doesn't know yet because he just hasn't experienced them and so you know having your first experience uh, you know getting getting a couple starts in a row under your belt uh, you know that's only gonna bode well for him you know because now he can see himself on film and watch it and learn and remember the actual play it's different from standing on the sideline watching that when you're in that pocket and experiencing it you know and so he, he's he's going to be he's going to be a great player did and so see, yeah did you sense any frustration from him or you know I, I mean yeah like normal like competitive frustration right. yeah absolutely he's a competitor you know we all are and so my, my all I try to do is encourage him you know I you know I thought you know there was times in the games where maybe it wasn't going our way but he was doing a great job and I tell him bro Keep freaking ripping it, you know. Great job, great eyes, you know. Great anticipation, good ball. Uh, I know you maybe want that other play back, but the other three were perfect, man. Great job, you know. And so, you know, they've been so supportive of me, um, and and they have projects and they do things and help me to get ready for game day uh, all year long. And Jake last year, um, and and I tried to be the same for them, you know. Just encourage them, be there for them, just like. Uh, Matt Schaub was there for me in my rookie year. Matt McGloin was there for me, and you know EJ Manuel. And I, I can you know go on and on about the great people I've had to play with. That we quarterbacks, we all support each other. And so, um, you know, we knew that there was going to be things that you know he wasn't going to know yet. But I thought with that, he still played great, and he did a great job. With your uh, like rehab schedule, where you stay, how did you kind of stay involved beyond just? you know, helping the two quarterbacks. Were you able to go to meetings, like film study, things like that? Sometimes. Uh, there was some days, there was really some days, like a stretch there where I was starting to get a little bit better where um, I couldn't be at every meeting. And so, uh, you know, but I was having all the stuff sent to me. Um, I, ha I had everything. I, st I had everything. I was looking at everything. Uh, you know, what plays we had in, you know, playbook wise. And I was, at, if I didn't know some, I'd go ask, I'd text the coach or, you know, go ask just to make sure I knew and stayed on top of it that way. And so, um, you know, but there was sometimes I was here at, you know, before, way before the sun comes up and didn't get to go home for a long time, you know, because of just the, the schedule that they had had me on and, and all that. So it was a lot of, it went from a lot of football to a lot of taking care of my body, you know.
Um, but you know, sometimes I was able to go. Sometimes I, I couldn't. Derek, when you were when you were talking about people protecting you from yourself, um, was that easier to kind of absorb that message when it was a functionality thing versus like a pain thing? And, yes. and did you did you also learn some lessons from from last year with, with kind of playing through some of this stuff? One one hundred percent. You know, you know the the hardest part for me when it first happened was like, well, can I just you know do this or this and just play? And they're like. <laughs> No, like you'll literally be out for the rest of the year. You know, like it'll be over. And so I was like, oh, okay, well, can't do that. So once, once, once I asked, like I always have a couple questions I ask. Can I do this? Can I do this? Can I do this? And if all those answers are no, then you know I just there's nothing I can do about it. You know, and and is that frustrating? Yes, because as competitors, like I'll do anything to be out there or give my best. You know, and so. That part was hard. That part was frustrating. Um, but I am thankful for our staff because they kept, you know, I try and be positive. But there's some days during that you're like, gosh, dang, it feels like it's just, it's not getting better. It's just like it's so little, you know. And then all of a sudden they're like, just trust me, man. Just And then all of a sudden, boom, I was like, oh. I was like, hey, let's go out. And they're like, calm down, <laughs> you know. I was like, I can play this week. And Sean every time was like, no. Like I'd hear him from his office. I'd ask Ben, can I play? He's like, no. I was like, all right, whatever. So, um you know, that, that was before I even threw a ball 10 yards. I asked if I could play, and Sean didn't like that. So um, that we, we did our best, man. And, and I, I, I promised myself I'd be positive through the whole thing because it sucks. You know, watching your team out there playing, wishing you could be there, um, it was really hard for me. It was probably the hardest time to watch my team because uh, it, it didn't – it wasn't – I wouldn't say – it wasn't the most painful thing. Right. It was just a functional thing that I just couldn't do. So was it uh, close last week? No. Uh, and if you ask me, yes. Uh, if if you ask them, they say no. Uh, but yeah, uh, I I obviously wasn't good enough to go. So I've always wondered Take this: more. Is it a weird feeling to be on the sideline? Like you want to go help like Jake or Spencer, but you're not the coach. So like, what do you do? Do you like tell them and then back off? Do you let no our, our the co coaches deal with it? Clint and Janok are great. They they're like, dude, you've played eleven years at this position. Like, tell them anything you want to tell them. And so. You know, I'd see things. I'd see a hand signal. I could hear a call that they were making or whatever, and I'd be like, hey, every time it's this, it's this, and give them little things to help them find completion throughout the game. And so it, the, our coaches are great. Anytime I had something, like I remember I sat down one time to tell Jay, uh, Spencer something, or Jake, uh, and and Clint comes walking up in, in Janoke, and I went to get up. They're like, no, finish telling them. What, please tell them, you know. And so they, they were great. Um, and they, from the beginning, they've trusted, you know, what I see and, you know, things I hear on the football field so that was that was cool um but at the same time you don't want to i didn't want to fill their brain with so much because i'm like i'm the type of person give me every bit of information and i'll sort through it and then use what i need to use like when it's their first action there's only so much i want to put in their head you know like hey if it's this signal and you see this guy leverage and you see that i didn't want to you know give them 20 different things to think about when they still had to execute and so um you know i, I would give things every now and then but Again, I thought I thought they handled themselves great in a very tough situation. Uh, really, really proud of those two. Really am. Again, good. You do one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you look at the last six games, I think everyone understands week three and four really close. Week five on the road, Super Bowl champs. But with the last three by, and I know you weren't playing by 18 or more. How do you process that? Uh, it's it's hard. That's, I've been in I've been in times where you have those stretches, and it's like. Man, I feel like we're doing the right things, but it's just a frustrating feeling. It is a frustrating thing, you know. Uh, I'm sure all of us have had times like in our job where like you go a couple weeks or a month and you're like, it's just not going right, <laughs> you know. And and that was kind of the feeling that we had. Um, but, you know, getting back to the basics, getting back to, and I mean that just as players, when, when you're going through that, I always tell them, get back to the basics, get back to the fundamentals, get back to, you know, don't, don't do too much. Just get back and focus on your job. Do your job to the best of your ability because sometimes you get in the season and, certain things become second nature and then you're thinking about this and helping this and it's like let's just all focus in on doing our job and so just a refocus man there's just i felt a refocused energy about the team today um and really on monday um uh, monday afternoon and and does that mean it's going to be great sunday I, that doesn't promise it but it does mean i think that we're trying to do things the right way and so you know i, I never get too high or too low especially in those times when it's like golly man like by 18, you know, 18 points and all that. You know, you try not to get too low with it because this thing, this game can turn so quick. And so you just try and stay positive and 
the main thing is you got to put the work in and do things the right way. And so if we hold each other accountable peer to peer to make sure everyone's putting that work in, it usually turns around. Yeah, DA said the captains and he met the other day and it was yep. very positive. Is there a message that came out of that? Didn't you all met? Yeah, I mean, we, we met, you know, we, DA has the captains meet like uh, off and on, but once a month, like with a, for a dinner. And, and we had that this week and, and I think he was looking for some information. I was like, and all of us to a man were like, we're good. Locker room's good. You know, Double D, myself, Cam, you know, are we, you know, did we put ourselves in a certain situations that's tough? Absolutely. We did that, you know, and injuries, all that, none of it matters. We're in that position. Uh, and so, you know, where are we right now? I say we're in a, we're in a pivotal place, right? We gotta, we gotta win. You know, that's what, that's where we're at. But we're also in a good place mentally. You know, our locker room, the mentality, the way guys are flying around at practice. Because I've been around it, man, where it goes the other way, and practice just feels dull, feels dead. You try and motivate a guy, he won't do it. All that kind of stuff. I've seen it. You know, uh, and that that was not the case with our team today. Good. You've also made birdie after a blow up hole, right? Absolutely. <laughs> you gotta keep swinging. Yeah. Keep swinging. Thank you, guys.